So often when we hear the word addict, an image comes to mind. And often the face of addiction is so much more familiar than what we picture. And an Arkansas mom is on a mission, hoping to prove that, showing the true faces of the drug epidemic. This is Trey. He is my reason behind the banners. When Tracy Carter's 22-year-old son Trey died of a fentanyl overdose in 2018, she knew she had to do something. I wanted to show the faces of those lost, um, to show that they were people. The West Memphis mom started collecting photos from around the country. Sons, daughters, and loved ones who died of a drug overdose, displaying them on banners for all to see. Everybody thinks a junkie, somebody laying on the street, no teeth, homeless. That wasn't my son. That wasn't many of the faces on these banners. Each banner has 150 faces from all over the country. Nearly the same number of people who die from a drug overdose every day in the United States. Driving here today, I completed banner 15. As word spread about the movement, which she calls Can You See Me Now, photos started pouring in from around the country and from close to home. Hagen's first overdose was his last. Stacy James's son Hagen among the more than 2200 faces. I mean, he was just larger than life with a big heart, just a huge, huge heart. Together, the two Arkansas moms have made it their mission to bring the banners to schools, festivals, and walks around the country. So far, they're in 13 states and counting. These banners were born in Arkansas. That's something to be proud of. Two moms on a mission to honor their sons and all the faces that will never be forgotten. You know, people ask me, when are you going to stop? And I said, I won't stop. I'm, I'm not going to stop. If it means honoring all these beautiful kids, all these moms, all these dads, I'll, I'll, I'll be doing it till it's my time.